let's understand ransack regression ransack stands for random sample consensus c consensus the spelling is consensus all right it can be used to make any other machine learning algorithm to become outlier resistant for example let's take linear regression suppose you have two features x and y as x increases y also increases so the data points distribution looks like this and if you try to draw a line of best fit it might look something like this this is the true relationship between x and y but in raw data often you end up having some outliers suppose you have some outliers over here the true line of best fit can get tilted towards towards the outliers so instead of having the true line of best fit true relationship you might get the line of best fit to be this dotted line we don't want this so we want we want this line to become closer and closer to the true relationship which is what which is what the ransack regression helps us achieve so how does ransack regression really work let's understand that clearly step by step now to start with the original data set say you have a data set you have a you have a data set you have different columns in the data set right some out of these entire set of rows some of the rows some of the rows can be outliers our ultimate aim we, we are going to use a ransack to find what these outliers are and sort of remove them how do we do that so we start with a base data set base training data set which contains all the records all the rows in the data now from this base data set we are going to draw a random sample what percentage of the base data set goes as random sample can be determined by the user let's say you are you are taking a 90% random sample out of this base data now practically this 90% can prove to be a large number so by default in scikit learn when you have a data set and this data set contains m columns and n rows by default it will pick m plus 1 rows the the number of the number of rows is the same now same as the number of columns plus 1 that many rows are picked from this for a for creating the random sample now once this is created we fit a model on this data set we fit a model on this new data set that is which is composed of random samples now the thing is since the random sample contains lesser number of observations the chance or the number of outliers that will occur in this data set will be considerably lower than the original training data set so the chances are the line of fit inches more closer towards the truth line for example in this line this line instead of having this kind of a line you might end up getting a line that is slightly closer towards the truth line now see here the orange line we have here is the line of best fit for the smaller random data set this is more closer towards the truth line which is the white line over here now once this is done we want to find the outliers and remove them how do we find them the outliers of the data points is having a very large error the residuals of these points the the white points against the outlier data points those points are having a very large residual error are considered as outliers now what is done by default in scikit learn is those data points are having value the error value or the residual value greater than the mean absolute deviation of the errors so take all these data points take all these data points compute the mean absolute deviation right compute the error of this so this is having a negative error these points might have a positive error over the top compute the mean of all those errors mean of the absolute absolute deviation of all those errors any data point that is having a greater error than the mean absolute deviation those data points are removed that is the default behavior in scikit learn however you can set your own threshold now once the outlier data points are identified they are removed from the training data set and create and we create a new training data set that is devoid of the outliers that we have identified now the next step we go back and start again from step 2 where we again draw a random sample this time d1 perhaps for the second iteration and we will fit and we will fit a new regression model again and find the line of best fit now this time since the chance of outliers occurring is lesser than the previous time the chances are this line that's for the second iteration this line might slightly inch closer towards the true relationship line so we keep repeating all these steps until n number of times which is by default 100 times in scikit learn or the coefficients of the line of best fit does not change beyond a certain number 
So the final best model is the one that remains after the n number of iterations are completed or, or the coefficients of the model remains unchanged. So here we are at scikit-learn's documentation page for ransack regressor. Now look at this, the very first argument is the estimator which means you can pass in a linear regression model, random, random forest model, scikit-learn, it does not matter. As long as it is a scikit-learn model, you can pass that as an input here. Besides this, two other inputs matter which is the minimum number of samples for the random samples that we will be drawing. This can be a number which if you pass in an integer number, say you pass in the value 90, it will take 90 rows or 90 records from the data set. Or it can be a value from 0 to 1, which means suppose if you pass in the value 0 0.1, it will take 10 percentage sample from the original data set. So that's what this min sample refers to. We have the residual threshold. Once the model is built, the residual threshold will decide beyond what value of the error that particular data point needs to be considered as an outlier. That's what this data point controls. So these are the main hyperparameters. You can also control the number of max, number of trials or number of random sample models that you're going to build. By default, it is 100. You can also control the loss function that you can use. Now let's see the code of how to build the model. We are importing ransack regressor here, first step. Then the data set is created here. Use make regression to create 200 samples data set. So this is created here. You can use this on any any of your real world data set also. The process remains the same. Pass ransack regressor to this. Set a random state. Everything is kept as default settings. That will give you the best estimator model. Now let's look at the results comparison. We have the ransack model fitted line. Say this is the distribution of the data points. The ransack model fitted line is more aligned with the true relationship. But linear regressions fitted line, since there are outliers over here, is tilted more towards towards the outlier. So after ransack, this line here, the blue dark blue line, got tilted towards the more true relationship.